right guys welcome back to my channel i was uh chilling in tampa today where i live and eat trade travel hit me up and said that there's a spontaneous flag wave here in orlando so i canceled all my afternoon appointments and i drove out here and we arrived early this is going to be an epic trump flag wave we are in orlando florida technically windermere donald trump is apparently on his way to the area so we are going to be welcoming him here we're gonna have a great time maybe we'll see president trump and uh, we're going to ask these fellow patriots why they're here, get some great sound bites for my uh, for my channels, and to have a good time. You guys like my new cowboy hat? Yeehaw! It's a beautiful Trump 2024 hat. Oh, it's glorious. Anyway, guys, you know what to do. If you want to support my work, givesengo.com slash Adam Francisco. As you guys know, gas in Joe Biden's America is extremely expensive. It just cost me 40 bucks today to fill up my tank when it was 20 under President Trump. That's right. Gas prices are back to being twice as high on the President Biden and the President Trump. So if you want to support my journey, my work on the street, give sengo.com slash Adam Francisco. I'm the only man fighting a terminal illness, fighting for this country, the Constitution, and Donald J. Trump. Let's have a good time today. And as always, God bless Trump. Do you agree? I agree. God bless Trump. We like to say, come over here this way. 100%. Yeah, 2,000%. Where are you from? Vietnam from Orlando here. Why do you support Donald J. Trump? I love Donald J. Trump. Why do you love him so much? <laughs> because he's um, the guy that protected our country. That's right. And he worked for us with no money. That's right. Uh, he didn't who, take a salary. Who can do that? Who can do that? That's right. And, uh, That's right. and he, uh, he, he done everything that he promised. Uh, even though sometimes, you know, the way he talks and things people don't like, but uh, he's a great guy. Actions are louder than words. That's, it's hard to find another one that uh, we need him for now to bring back our country. The American dream. Back to normal That's first. Right. And then uh, whoever come up is fine, but right now our country need to go back to normal the way it is. You hear that, guys? Yes. We need to go back to normal. First. No more men's in the women's bathroom. And only Trump can do it. That's right. I don't know. I couldn't see anybody else could do it at this moment. Other people, they might can do it after um, right. Trump let him, can let him, bring it back. Exactly. Everything. Let him and lay he, the groundwork. And he can bring it back real quick. That's right. You know, so quick with uh, four years. Thank That's you. That's enough. Thank well, you Thank you for so being on here today. Thank you so much. What brings you out here today? The support. Trump. Awesome. And can you tell me why you like Donald Trump? Because he's real, not full of shit. That's right. Lays it out there. That's right. Take him as he is, because that's who he is. I always tell people Donald Trump is a real man, and we need a real man in office. Yes. You agree? Yes. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here. Thank you. Appreciate you. I love your shirt. Thank you. Love the people. I love the American flag. Thank you. So what brings you out here today? Just to support our president. He's always been my president. This is the third time I'm voting for him. Man, you're a great voter. Yes. I'm jealous. I've only voted for him once. Wow. In 2020. Uh-huh. I'll be a two-time Trump voter. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to the Trump world. We're, Thank you. We just want to bring our country back. I love patriotism. I just, I love my country. I'm for all good things, and I feel like our country's going down, so. Awesome. Thank here. you so much. Appreciate you. All right, guys, you just got word that Trump is going to be here in a few minutes, and you know who this is? Angela from ETT Squad. ETT Squad. We're so excited. I'm here with Adam. He's the best. We're gonna see Trumpy Trump there. How did you find out about this? Um, from a friend. Wow. Yeah, so she told me about it and I canceled all my afternoon plans. Yeah, even canceled right his doctor's here. appointment. That's He's right. awesome. Yeah, so I'll see my doctor Friday, but it's important to see Trumpy Dr. Trump, Trump today. Yes, today. All right, Trump should be here soon, guys, so I don't miss it. We're gonna film, make sure we get his motorcade as he, as he passes by. He usually slows down so we can all see him. So, so we are getting ready for uh, Trump's appearance. As you can see, we have a lot of cars honking as they pass by the support in orlando for donald trump is real you could feel it it's thick it's like molasses it's like a syrup look at all the support we have for president donald trump and these people are not even attending the rally these are just passers-by that are coming out here to support president donald trump it's a beautiful thing to see and uh, he should be here any moment now he's going to be taking this back entrance into the event it's a fundraiser it's a small fundraiser. It's an intimate fundraiser, 150 people apparently. But we know that Trump's probably gonna raise a lot of money from these people because he just raised $50 million at his event just a couple of, just last week. You know, the media was bragging about 
Joe Biden raising $25 million, but Joe Biden needed two former presidents as well as a whole list of celebrities. What did Donald Trump have? Just himself, because Donald Trump's the star. He don't need stars. He is the star. Have you been to a motorcade rally before? Yeah, you both have. CPACs. Oh, the CPACs. Yeah, we filmed them both. Awesome. This is, I think, my fifth or sixth motorcade fifth or rally. Six, yeah. This, yeah, this is my fourth, actually. Yeah. I will, I will admit, I will admit, the first motorcade, and I saw Trump drive by, yeah, and he waved at us. Yeah. I teared. I know. I and felt he put chills. Two, he put two thumb, two fingers up for two terms. I felt chills. Yeah, we did. I was so excited. That was so exciting. Yeah. They're both big. The both C two C packs, and then we went to the one in Gaylor Palms. That was awesome. So that I encourage so you guys, fun. if you've never been to a Trump rally, make sure you guys get out there. This is technically not a Trump rally. You got to go to one where Trump's speaking, but you're never going to feel like a patriot more than that at a Trump rally. All right, we're going to queue it up, guys, and get ready for the appearance. All right, so Trump's about to get here. Yep. Why are you here today? I'm here to show my support. I've kind of been out of the scene for a while, but I'm an executive member of the Republican Community Party in here in Orange County. So I just came to show my support, say hello as he comes in, and uh, I can't wait till he's back in as our president again. And how are you feeling? Do you think he's going to win the election? Oh, yes, I know he is. Yeah. He won last time. He'll win again. Of course, three times yeah. in a row. Yeah. I swear to God, guys, Trump gets treated like he's still the president. This is presidential service. Where did the dogs turn the AC off? Crazy motor. 
motorcade. Look how big this thing is. That must be him, right? Here it comes, guys. The Trump motorcade. That's kind of coming up, right? Just saw President Trump, guys. I'll try to slow it down for you. President Trump! Whoa. Trump 2024! Trump 2024! Trump! for someone who allegedly isn't the president. What brings you out here today? Well, I am so into for Mr. Trump to be back to this country again as the president. Awesome. I just um, love him. I think he is the best and we are waiting for that victory. And personally to you, what is one of the most important issues for you this upcoming election? The border. The border. Yes, And what would absolutely. you like to see done with the border? Well, I think... Um, we have to have in America all the legal people. Um, I am one of the immigrants Where are you in from? Brazil. Oh, oh to the bay. Yes, to the bay. And it took me more than 15 years to be an American citizen. So wow. you did it the right I way. Am, absolutely. I'm so, so you expect proud. others to do it the right way as well. Absolutely. So I'm an immigrant proud. from Mexico. All right. But I came here legally at birth. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, yes, go Trump. You're a fellow patriot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. You guys support President Trump? You guys all support President Trump? We're checking it out. Yeah, we're uh, for, yeah. for the economy. Hell yeah, for the economy. That's <laughs> right. We need him back. You're on my YouTube channel. I'm on. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Fine. Hi, So, guys. I love your shirt. Oh, great. Do you think Ultra Trump is like America. Superman? Do you think he's like Superman? I do. I do. I think we need we need a Superman right now, and Trump is the only guy to get it done. What do you so. think is Donald Trump's kryptonite? Uh, the Democrats. The Democrats. <laughs> I, my answer would have been um, illegal votes. Oh, yeah. Coming at 3 a.m. in the dark of the night after the count was paused. I think yeah. that's a kryptonite, because otherwise I think he's going to win. Yeah, well, yeah, that's that's exactly it. People voting or dead people voting or votes coming out of nowhere, you exactly. know. And it, I mean, I was there in 2020 on the ground, so I know what I saw. I was at the rallies in 2020, so I know yeah. what I experienced. And I was on the ground election day 
seeing this whole craziness unfold. So yeah, when you say that, it makes a lot of sense. And now one more question. Um, on a personal level, what is the number one issue that you're voting on this election? The border. The border. And what would you like to see done to the border? I'd like to see it closed. I'd like to see them to build the wall if possible. But Should they make truly, it 10 feet taller? Yeah, yeah, they and 20 should. 20 feet wider, right? Oh, God. And thicker. And thicker. And just impossible to break through. I, I don't understand why is it that we're out there protecting everybody's border, but ours is wide open. So for me, the issue is definitely the border, not just the thing, the folks that's coming in, but everything else that they're bringing with them, the destructions, look at the cities, what's happening into New York, Chicago, all of it, especially in black and brown communities. That's right, it affects those the most. <laughs> yes. It affects those the most. Yeah, yeah. I saw videos in Chicago that they were taking community centers meant for impoverished black and brown people and using it for migrants instead. Yeah. And these people were like, what about, where do we go now? So Biden's putting illegals first, Trump puts Americans first. Again, this is what you voted for. I didn't vote for it. Oh, I you know. Didn't vote for it. I didn't vote for it, but, but a lot of people. some weirdos in Orlando voted for it. They voted for it. Yeah. And, and as you say, the people in Chicago, I mean, we're seeing it all over. All of these liberal cities, these progressive um, uh, cities, that's all you're seeing. I mean, Boston, Chicago, New York, all of them everywhere and i don't understand how is it that they're not seeing the example like new york has fallen like that's what's going to happen to yours that's correct so san francisco has fallen all of these great cities has fallen yep. and that's what's going to happen to your community it's that's like right. it's coming it's coming and, and the last question so, to wrap things up yeah you're a black woman oh am i i didn't know i'm, I didn't a, I'm, know. A, I'm a mexican man <laughs> What would you, because I get a lot of feedback for pushback because I'm Mexican I'm immigrant. Uh, I got it illegally though. What do you say to, to the black community that, and why do you support Donald? Like, what would you say to that as a black woman who supports Trump? I support Trump because I support policy. You know, I was watching a, a show today with Charlemagne and uh, Stephen A. Smith. They had a, a, an interview. And Stephen says that he, he won't vote for Donald Trump. Not because of the policies, but he just doesn't like his personality. And I'm like, that, that's not that's not a reason to not vote for somebody. Correct. If you like the policies, if it's good for you, if it's good for your pocketbook, if it's good for your money, if it's good for your house and your community, what the hell does a personality has to do with it? That's so right. like Trump says, what the hell do you have to lose? I love to hear it. Thank you so much. What's your name? Amanya. Nice to meet you. The conservative poet. I got a channel. Oh, you got so, one, the conservative poet. That's me. Shout it out. How do we Hi. find you? Conservative poet on YouTube. Awesome. Check me out and I know I've seen you with Jeff. Yeah, Trump. Jeff made the Trump. I know. We thought he was going to come today, but he didn't make it. Okay. That's my other uh, YouTube partner. Hello. Eat, Trey Travel. Eat, Trey Travel. Yeah. Ah, nice to meet you guys. Awesome. We'll put a link in the description for your channel, all right? All right. Awesome. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up today for this spontaneous Trump rally, Trump motorcade. It was great to see President Trump for a split second. He waved at us through the window. And uh, that technically might be the closest I've actually gotten to him, which was pretty cool. Anyway, guys, you know what to do. You want to support my channel, my journalism gibsongo.com slash Adam Francisco. Uh, it's going to be the first link below in the description. I appreciate all your donations. And uh, as always, God bless Trump. Mm -hmm.